to teach a dog how to write. There's like a gazillion hours of me on the internet. In almost every case, I'm talking. Check the retaining wall. Let That's me guess. The final side. You're too busy to watch this ad. Uh -huh. Why aren't you the landlord? Yes, you. Why I will never love you another human more than I love my bed. Want to teach a small child? <laughs> Welcome back everyone. Have you ever been with your friends and you wanted to show them a really funny video? Or maybe you've gone down one of those late night research rabbit holes. Or maybe you like watching long documentary type videos. But you're constantly being bombarded with ads. Whether they be unskippable or not, those ads are quite intrusive and for me and many others, we find them quite annoying and we just want to watch the content we came to YouTube for. Now, if you are old enough to remember back in the good old days of YouTube, like the early 2000s, there were no ads in videos. Yes, there were ads on the page and little closable boxes at the bottom of videos, but it seems that over time that wasn't making YouTube, and now in turn Google, enough money. So they started implementing ads at the beginning and now the end of videos. Now, most were skippable, then they became unskippable. Later came the mid-roll ads, which were meant for longer run videos, around 10 to 15 minutes or longer, where during the video an ad, or several, would interrupt your content that you were enjoying, and depending on the length of the video, this could happen several times. Now, my dad loves watching several different channels that have longer running videos. When I get distracted by what he's watching, not long after, several mid-roll ads pop up and ruin the entire experience of what we were watching. For example, this channel called My Self Reliance, which has a huge following, and also has some beautiful scenic nature shots and beautifully done drone shots of the landscape around him when that is rudely interrupted by I like square butts and I cannot lie. Square it really ruins the experience and mood of the video i think you get my point now while some of you might be saying well michael i don't really mind those ads they don't bother me that much and if that's you fine by all means enjoy your interruptions however if you are sitting there thinking yeah michael i don't really like those ads either is there any way to get rid of them or block them? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because the answer is yes. And here's the best part. It's free. Now, some of you may be aware of a little app called YouTube Vanced, which was a downloaded app that could block all the ads and sponsored segments and videos. So you could just simply enjoy the content that you came to YouTube for. However, tragedy struck the Vance team when YouTube and Big Brother Google Serve the team with a cease and desist letter, due to Vance being a closed source mod of the original YouTube app. Around March of 2022, the team has shut down operation and has not and will not be rolling out any more updates for the app. Now, the app still does work until YouTube itself rolls out several updates that will eventually break the YouTube Vance mod. So, if you're sitting there worried, thinking this was our last option, I'm here to bring you good tidings of great joy there is a light at the end of this tunnel. Right after the time that Vance was shut down, a totally different team of developers banded together to start working on continuing the legacy of Vanced. Enter Revanced, the open source solution to all your YouTube ad and sponsor blocking needs. Revanced has all the features that Vance did, but now is even better. Revanced is a selectable patcher application where you can pick and choose which patches you want to apply to your version of Revanced a truly build your own type of app. Revanced truly has it all. Add and sponsor blocking, background player, picture in picture, a really good dark theme, and also for those weird silent parts and music videos. It just skips right over that so you can just enjoy the actual song. But Michael, you say, what if I don't want certain things blocked or skipped? Too easy. All you need to do is go back into the Revanced Manager and unselect the things you don't want and simply repatch the app. But I'm getting ahead of myself a bit. Revanced is only available on Android. So get wrecked, Apple users. So for those of you that have any Android devices, you can simply go to your search engine of choice. Alrighty, before YouTube cuts me off, I can't show you the exact details of how to install the app, but I can at least tell you about it. And I'll have a full detailed video of how to do it now since I've had some new updates over on my Rumble page. So if you're wanting to learn how to do it, go over there and follow me there. 
I really wish I could show you how to do it here, but YouTube won't allow it. So I'm sorry guys, I have to send you, if you're wanting to learn how to install the app and everything, I have to send you over to my Rumble page um, so you can learn how to do it there. I'll have a full detailed video on how to do it um, for all the new updates and stuff they have of how to install the app and how to make it work and everything because there are some cool new updates that make it simpler uh, for people to do it. So uh, go over there and check out that, that video over on my Rumble channel. So thank you all for watching this now re-uploaded and re-edited version of this video. Uh, we got some cool new stuff um, coming in the future, so stay tuned for that. And if you guys have any further questions about revamps and everything, please let me know.